Are you a family caregiver caring for a loved one in your home? Are you exhausted, worn out, and at the end of your rope? Do you feel like giving up? If you desperately need answers and direction on how to take care of your loved one, you need Caregiving Tips A to Z. This highly informative book by Star Kaloy has been written in a down-to-earth manner rather than in technical language. How does she know what you need to know? Because Star and her husband Bob took care of the elderly in their home for 18 years, 24-7, 365 days a year. They've been been through the sleepless nights, behavioral problems people with dementia have, and trying to get the elderly to eat. They have been through it all, and now they want to share the hands-on tips they've discovered over the years with you. Call Star now for your copy of Caregiving Tips A to Z and start living again. Call 521-8668. That's 521-8668 and talk to Star. Remember, you're not alone anymore. Call 521-8668. That's 521-8668. Anybody who's done it knows that it is so easy to lose control of your life and get run down when you constantly take care of another person. The good news is there are ways to avoid burnout, and our caregiving expert is back this morning, Star Kaloy. Hi, Star. <laughs> good to, good see, you to see you this you morning. Too. We're doing caregiving this We're morning. We're doing caregiving right. 101, and it's so mm -hmm. important to talk about this, Star, yeah. because so many more people mm -hmm. are caring for their loved ones. That's right. And one of the first things you want to talk about this morning are tips, things to carry you through. Tip number one, you say, forgive yourself. Oh yeah, we've got so much that we hold in and we've got so much from our childhood that we may feel bad about because we put our parents through things and now we're taking care of them, so we need to forgive ourselves for everything. Sometimes star caregivers feel mm -hmm. inadequate, so yes, you say do. tip number two, Get family and friends to join in. That's right. That's right. We want you need for people to come to the you know come up to the plate and say, well, I'm going to help out. See who you can enlist family and friends to come over so you can just take a nap. Even a nap is important. Just rest. That's a great gift. Oftentimes you'll have a neighbor or somebody who wants to help, which mm -hmm. brings us to number three. You say get outside people involved. That's right. If you can't, if you don't have any family that can help, then then try the neighbors. Try your loved ones' neighbors. Try friends of yours that may be able to be there while you know you go out and do your errands. I love tip number four reach out into the community you say mm -hmm. there's resources there. That's right if you go online if, if you're able to go online then you can just uh, type in uh, caregiv caregivers help comma San Antonio comma Texas or wherever you're, you're you are and then you can see a whole of resources available. Alamo Connection is a wonderful one right here in San Antonio. And of course, you've mm -hmm. mentioned medical students at the local colleges. Oh, okay. yeah. Yes. Yeah. And you said that's important, though, yes. because there's a lot of them that Didn't are trying to that. get their uh, degree in geriatrics. They can come free of charge as part of a grade and help you out. They learn. You get yeah. some help. You say mm -hmm. for at least 30 minutes a day, shut it off. That's right. You need to rest all of your senses, get yourself some earplugs, an eye shield, make the room cool, get someone to watch your loved one lay down and rest all if, even if you can't nap take 15 minutes to rest all senses it'll rejuvenate you now you bring us also to tip number six you say get mm -hmm. some help hire some help yeah if you can possibly do it and one of the best ways to do it is on a sitters list you can find sitters with Alzheimer's Association even if ah. your loved one does not have Alzheimer's okay you say develop a creative outlet how do you do that what well, does that mean if you like art paint Okay. Again, if you like to cook, cook. If you like to uh, garden, garden. Take the mon baby monitor outside and garden to your heart's content. Okay, tip number eight. You said if your loved one still enjoys eating, do something that they love in the kitchen. That's right. You, If they like to eat, well, then cook for them. Make some of their favorite things. I love to cook. When I get tense or anything or I've got feeling overwhelmed, I can rest my senses, not just by uh, being a couch potato, but I can get into the, the kitchen and cook and make Bob very happy. Okay, <laughs> right. Make Bob. 
<laughs> which is very important. Yes. Now, look, you say if you like gardening, mm -hmm. take your portable baby monitor outside with you right. and do something, mm -hmm. plain. again, sure. renewing your own senses. That's right, exactly. That's what you want to do. You want to take that baby monitor, even if you work in the garage, wherever you are, take it with you so that you can hear what's going on. Here's another yeah. good tip. You say pick up those mm -hmm. things that you abandoned when you started caregiving. Renew yeah. your energy and things you love to do. Sure. You, you can even have a tutor come over and work with you. And, and maybe if you want to take piano, have a tutor come over to the house to do that. There's all kinds of things that you can stuff, do. Stuff. Absolutely. Tip number 11, you say write it down. Yeah. If you enjoy writing, mm -hmm. keep a journal. That's right. Journalize your journey of caregiving. So that way when your loved one does pass on, you'll have all these wonderful moments to reflect on. You say don't hold back whatever you're mm -hmm. feeling. Tears, laughter, let it out. Yeah, if you want to, you need to laugh. Laughter is important. It's absolutely vitally important to your senses. It's healthy to laugh. Get yourself some funny movies. Lock yourself away in your room. Put on the DVD or watch it with your loved one. One of the things cry if you need to cry. I was going to say, you say equally mm -hmm. as important as mm -hmm. laughing is crying. Sometimes mm -hmm. people don't want to appear weak, scarred, but it's okay to do it. I cry in front of everybody. If I want to cry, and people say, what's wrong, sir? I don't say, oh, nothing. I say, I'm crying. Yes. I did that today. Release. I you was did. crying today. You yes. did, and, to, mm -hmm. and now you're I better. I feel great. You feel great. I feel That's wonderful. why you're so happy now. I'm on top of the world. <laughs> I love tip number 14. <laughs> you say, attend church. Make some kind of connection. That's right. That's right. Well, go to church. Get spiritually rejuvenated. The Lord can help you with everything. All right, and quickly, volunteer services in your area. That's volunteer, right. be, mm -hmm. be active, mm -hmm. and take care of your own health. Walk, sleep. No caffeine, no watch caffeine. the alcohol, stealth drugs, you know, I mean, all of these all things. All of that Take stuff. Take care of your health. Renew your senses and cry if you need That's to. Right. If you need all of these tips That's and you right. want to learn more, they are here in this book, Caregiving Tips from A to Z, Alzheimer's and Other Dementia, Star Colloid, and also Caregiving Tips A to Z, over 1,200 tips, Star Colloid's got them. Mm -hmm. And listen, if you'd like to catch her on the radio, she and her husband, Bob, are on KKYX 680 AM. Catch them next Saturday morning from 9 9 to 10, they're talking about caregiving 101. They are also experts when it comes to marriage. All of those questions you have and concerns, they're going to still be on the air for, me, for you in the next hour from 10 to 11 a.m. in Marriage 101, 210-521-8668.